Hi everybody, my name is Sam and I'm a data scientist. For my capstone, I decided to model the NBA regular season games uh, total score. So, the only, I'm from Oklahoma and the only major professional sports team is the Oklahoma City Thunder. And ever since they relocated there, I've always been into watching their games on TV, going to them, and it's just been one of my favorite things to do. Uh, ever since the uh, recent Supreme Court ruling on sports betting, I decided I wanted to try to build a model that could beat Vegas. So I first looked at Vegas's historical lines, and as you can see, there are two clusters and then a few outliers. And after some investigation, the bottom left, I determined the bottom left cluster is preseason games, and the two outliers are uh, all-star games. So to have a more normalized data set, I decided to just focus on the regular season. I used a standard Python toolkit, including scraping uh, ESPN box scores using Google Pursuit, and then transforming data using Pandas, and then modeling with sklearn. Uh, the NBA has been evolving a lot recently, uh, becoming more of a scoring league. So I wanted to look at these differences. Uh, I used a two-tailed test on distributions from the uh, total scores of 2005 compared to 2018, and then 2010 compared to 2018. And both showed significant dis uh, differences in distribution. Uh, it also showed that the uh, uh, play has been diverging to a more score-heavy league. So with how I scraped ESPN box scores, uh, it just returns normal uh, like rows of player statistics. And for my model, I needed to be focused on team statistics. Uh, so I needed to transform everything in the top uh, little data frame into something more of the bottom, which is a rolling means. I also uh, added in the total score, which wasn't included, uh, number of possessions, home versus away. I clustered teams based off of their statistics to determine their play styles. And I also added in a defensive rating. Uh, and the rolling means was pretty tricky because you also have to, uh, if you just use it out of the box, it has the current game statistics involved in that calculation. So you need to shift down one row in order to have a, only the previous games for that prediction. Uh, my model was the lasso model, uh, and it captured pretty obvious uh, statistics that you would think it would, like the average points. But it also captured things like the defensive rating that I added in using feature engineering. Uh, because of the uh, divergence and more score like a higher scoring league, I decided to use only like the past six seasons instead of all of the data I have uh, to train my model. And also the downside of using rolling means is that it requires a certain number of data points in order to make a calculation. So uh, I used it requiring five previous games, so this model would not be able to make a prediction if one of the two teams had not played five games in that season yet. So Vegas is a multi-billion, uh, Vegas lines are like a multi-billion dollar industry, and their current uh, predictions have an average difference of actual versus predicted scores of 13.75, and I have gotten my model down to 14.07, and I want to decrease it more, so my next steps are to add more feature engineering, add a feature for uh, when a top scorer is resting or injured, uh, create some team uh, fatigue as a model or metric, and then also add in some more defensive statistics. And also there are some things that I could not feature engineer with the data that I have, so I would need to collect more uh, things such as the average time for possession, average shot distance, and drives per game. Uh, this is my information, and if you want to see any more uh, on my capstone, there's my GitHub. Thanks.